First, I'm just going to show you what I mean when I say image column. Um, here I have a spreadsheet called countries, and then in this in the same folder, I have a bunch of pictures of where those countries are in a globe. Now I'm going to run this script called a VB script, and you'll see what it will do is it will open up the spreadsheet and then it filled in images as the background of an Excel comment. And then I can hover over and I can see the image. So Argentina, Mexico, the US, and then Canada. So let me show you how the script works. If you're familiar with VB, it's in the uh, description and all you can do need to do is copy it. If you're less familiar with VB, I'm just going to walk you through it because you should never run code you don't understand. So let me uh, distribute this a little bit more evenly. And I'm just going to copy this and show you what I think you should do. So what I think you should do is go right click and then new text document. And this and here you're going to create a VBS file. So rename it. Let's say Excel columns dot VBS. And it'll say it might become unstable, but that's okay. Then right click and go edit. And then this code will be in the description and you can paste it in. And what it does is it first opens the spreadsheet you call here. So it's a spreadsheet name, countries.xlsx, and then it has an image type. So all these images need to be of the same type, either PNGs or JPEGs or GIFs or what have you. And then it says the image name column. And what the image name column is, is right here it specifies A. And that means that all of these words in this column here need to correspond to the name of the file. So here it says Argentina, here it says Argentina. In your image column, that's where you're telling the program to put these images. So in this case, column D. As far as image width, that's so you can, you know, these images are actually quite large. So I'm just scaling them down so they don't look that big. So I, you specify width, and then what it will do is it will scale the height so it keeps the same aspect ratio. All right, that's all you need to edit. If you want to use the script, you just need to edit these top four variables. If you want to know how it works more de in more detail, I'll go over that now. But if you don't, you're pretty much done. What it does is it first opens an Excel application, and then it gets whatever directory all of these documents are in. So make sure all of these documents, the images, the spreadsheet, and the script are in the same uh, directory. Then it will open up the spreadsheet, and it will make it visible to you. And then it will go through the rows and it will take the image name that is in the column you specify an image name column. So here it'll take whatever's in column A and it'll go, okay, what's in A1? First, it will start here and it'll say country um, and it won't find country.png, so it won't, it won't put a comment in there. But then it will go to Canada and it'll go Canada and look for Canada.png and it will find it. And then what it will do is it will load the image and it will then add a comment. And then what it will do is it will change the comment um, description. So instead of saying, you know, Charles Clayton or anything, it just, it, all it does is it gives it a space. So it's an empty comment. And then it changes the background image of that column to be the image corresponding to this name. And that's all it does. So there's nothing malicious in there. Um, that said, you should be careful when you run VB scripts because they do, they can affect your computer and they can change things. But if you use it as I've described it here, you should have no problems. So that's how you do that.